That intro never gets old. Nor does that. Why, hello there. I'm the Llama, and today we're going to be playing Jack and Daxter. This game was at least 50% of my early childhood. So, I'm excited to play it again. I've never 100%ed it, but I'm going to change that. So without further ado, let's begin. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of green ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Tarnation, do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north, 
far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Eh, uh, we won't find any more of that dark goo and eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Okay, let's see. So I remember how to play this. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Alright, let's collect all of them. I think there's 50 on this rock. Let's see. Yeah, um, 50. Uh, for uh, power cells and seven scout flies, like all these. I can't believe I still remember that. If I recall correctly, there's um, 101 in the game. There's two that I was never able to find. And that's all that's stopping me from 100%ing this. I also love their animations. I wish they kept these in the second games, or the later games. Um, okay. Doctor's dances. Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell. I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. Yeah, this is the wrong spot. Um, let's get to safety. They have inverted sticks. Like it's inverted horizontal. Can I fix that? This is where I wanted to go. Down here. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Okay. Oh. I was hoping I could make it. Door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. Alright, I'm gonna make it from back there. Just to see if I can. But first, let's check out the beach. Not here. I don't want to die. I deserve that. Alright, 
Alright, let's do this. Yeah, we did it. Now let's go get the ones over here. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Uh, Jack. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. There we go. That's all the orbs. Now we just need the last power cell. And that's Guy's Rock complete. Training, boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! I only, just now, like 20 years later, realized he said lamps. I had no idea what he was saying for this entire time. Wow. Let's see what Kira has to say. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one. I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. That's a low <laughs> bar. Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. I think that's our first job. Go and 100% the jungle, or at least as much as we can at this point in the game. I'm going to do that so many times, aren't I? Here's the mayor. A bit of scout fly? No. Yes. And he actually has a mission for us, I think. Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. Boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? <laughs> yeah. Hmm? <laughs> oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam. I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. I don't think we have that yet. Hold on. Uh... No, we, we definitely don't. That's the hold up there, I think. There we go. Oh, that was swift. I didn't expect to do that. Pro gamer skills right there. Here it is. The mini game. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. 
damn monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. But now they're gobbling up me catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try swooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power step. If you can catch 200 pounds of them critters, and then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. Absolutely. And there are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. <laughs> if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Simple enough. Here comes a big one. Steady, boy. Okay. I remember how stressful this was now. God. Here comes a big one. Don't miss one like that again. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's as hard as I remember. I will be right back. was legitimately very stressful at the end. Hey, there's little lightning marks on those posts, and there's lightning coming out of that vent over there. Now you thinking what? I was already ahead of you, Daxter. Okay, there's a power cell. that on our way out. Oh, that was fun. It was worth it for the orb.
Don't fight with me. This is actually a lot more straightforward than I remember. We should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful sight. Yep. I thank you. The entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. Just keeps in his hat. Alright everyone, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed and want to see more, like and subscribe. I plan to make this an entire series, and we're going to 100% Jack and Daxter. See you next time.